Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. assume I'm on the air. I don't have anything, but uh, I'll assume on it. Skype's being a little difficult today. Anyway, as always, another excellent, if uh, not slightly abbreviated, version of the Power Trading Hour. And as always, the time we come together. So hopefully I'm on. Don't see anybody typing in anything on the den, but uh, I assume I am. Uh, so what do we have? Uh, a lot of stuff. Um, yesterday when we left, uh, and we had our little time together, I said the most important thing was to watch the volume on the TLT. Now uh, that we uh, ended up uh, with a close just slightly lower on the volume of the June 16th low. That ended up being 108 to 12 with 26 million shares. You got into a just slightly lighter, uh, 24.6. So I'm making an assumption we're probably going to get one more retest and you need it on probably 20 million shares this time or less, or it's probably going to go lower. But for the moment, we've got a, a tiny respite. Um, the energy on the way back down was longer and a little lighter. Uh, the volume was just a hair lighter. Uh, generally, when you're using price and volume uh, with Wyckoff methods, uh, tie goes to the runner, and that is the bullish case opposed to the bearish case. But generally, if you don't get something that's significantly lighter, i.e., in this case, uh, what, is that 10%? Uh, 10% lighter, uh, probably not enough. You're probably going to get a retest. Now, that may just be a retest where this bounces into the uh, trend line down. I like to use a 3x3 three three displaced moving average. But, uh, yeah, could you get a couple of days? Uh, could you get up to 109, 109.50 or something and then have it pull back down? You'd like it to get back into that 20, uh, that uh, 107.42. Uh, it gave you some good news, i.e. it went below the previous low. It did so on lighter volume, not that much lighter, and then popped back into the trading range today. So I think there's a little bit uh, going on here in that I think many people are, and let me put it this way, many traders thought that it was just going to, after it got down here, it was just going to blow through the lows. And it may take a lot more consolidation. It probably is going to 100 the question is just when. Uh, Fed notes out uh, during the uh, uh, start of the show uh, for the uh, for the beige book, uh, and uh, I don't think there's a lot in there. Uh, I went through it real quickly during the the when it came out. Uh, maybe there's something more in there. I didn't have a lot of time to go through it, but to me, just looks like uh, 75. Uh, uh, 0.75 or three-quarter of a percent interest rate at the next meeting seems rather likely from what I read. I didn't see anything in there that 
contradicted that. Now, after that, maybe uh, you get uh, some kind of dovish comments, but I don't see a lot happening between now and then. And if I remember right, the next meeting is uh, the 26th. Is that right? No. I'll look it up during the break. But uh, we've got uh, – it's the end of this month. I want to say 28, uh, 28th. Maybe it's the 28th, but that would be it. 877-927-6648. Email me at path at tfnn.com. Uh, I listened to the Apple Dog and Pony going on in the last hour. Uh, well, there's some stuff that I can't mention, uh, but there's uh, some uh, – uh, Apple has, uh, is for its new iWatch anyway, uh, not a lot new out there. Uh, we were talking about that yesterday. Uh, the breathless way that these folks talk about their products just gets a little annoying after a while. Uh, the only thing I really thought that was interesting is they're, they're adding uh, sapphire uh, lenses to some of their extreme version of their watch, uh, watch for mountain climbing uh, at high altitudes and for uh, going scuba diving, uh, but those things are like twelve hundred bucks. They're going to be expensive watches for you to break. Uh, and of course, uh, in a year or two, you'll probably have to get a new one. So I didn't see a lot in there. There's a there's some interesting applications to health, especially women's health. But I don't know if a lot of people are going to spend that kind of money. Five six hundred bucks when you can buy something for a hundred bucks that does kind of the same thing. If that's what you're interested in, eh, the biggest problem I still see with the iWatch is that you have to take it off and charge it every night. They do have a mode where if it does little or nothing, but act like a watch, it may last thirty six hours, but uh, kind of defeats the whole purpose. If you know what I mean. So battery life is still a critical flaw, I suspect, in uh, the I, I uh, watch. Um, some other things I wanted to get in here. Do I have enough time on this? Uh, the market data infrastructure rule uh, is going to be passed in the next 30 days. Uh, there's quite a disparity between the data that we as retail traders get and the, the uh, data that uh, – the big Wall Street firms can get by throwing a, a lot of money at it. We talk from time to time about uh, the short data that comes out of the exchanges every two weeks. That data uh, generally is th uh, 12 or 13 days before you see it on a website. If you pay $3,000 or $3,500 to both Amex and uh, – or not Amex, but uh, both the NYSE and uh, the NASDAQ, They'll give you that data, same data, on the 10th. And uh, why it's not widely known, apparently you can pay to get that data even a little bit earlier if you're some big wig uh, like a Morgan Stanley or a, uh, or a uh, uh, other on the street. We get back. Um, crypto hit a uh, very interesting level today, and then we'll get into some charts see how the market is digesting the phase. In a time of booming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16-year mine life. All of this, combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits, this distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ.
Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Free at one eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight internationally at seven two seven eight seven three seven six one eight. As we come back uh, to you, I was talking about the uh, market data infrastructure rule. Um, it uh, is going to be. Uh, passed in about the next 30 days, maybe even sooner than that. Um, a judge ruled uh, pretty much midsummer, late summer, uh, that the uh, NYSE and the the uh, Nasdaq didn't have a leg to stand on, and uh, they could uh, uh, make them disseminate the the uh, data in a much more uh, neutral way to market participants. Uh, anyway, uh, that ruling, uh, later ruling came out in uh, uh, first part of August. Now the uh, Federal Trade Commission and uh, the SEC is getting together and making sure that data can get to us from various folks. And, of course, if anybody's ever gone to, and looked at data, they really try to charge the living daylights out of it uh, to you. I've compared it to uh, OPEC, a, a a massive cartel that may be starting to uh, break now and you may see other exchanges like IEX start to do better uh, because they offer free data and that may be the stepping stone to uh, maybe chipping away at very high cost data that generally we're not allowed to get to uh, the crypto market uh, is uh, on for a market cap uh, dipped under or just a little around $950 billion today. Probably most people would say that's a lot, but of course it was $3.3 trillion at the high. So we're down, what, 65%? Something like that off the highs. So, yeah, we're going to call it a crash in the cryptos here. If you're off uh, more than or around two-thirds, I think you could probably say that. Anyway, uh, not much happening uh, in the way of uh, Apple, which I thought was very interesting. Uh, but they are tending to push the rest of the market. Take a quick look here at Apple. Um, again, I didn't see anything that looked that interesting. 
or that important. It's still going on, though, or it was going on when the show started. So there may be something else. I don't see anything. I just updated the chart here. Volume's okay. Overall market volume, I heard somebody actually uh, uh, comment on it, is fairly light. We're only doing about 6.1 uh, billion shares on the CBOE consolidated tape today uh, for a Tuesday in September. Uh, compared to the some 16 and some days at 18 billion shares at the extremes is not a lot. Uh, but again, we may have more coming in at the end. This is really kind of the last day for fun buying, so I'm not all that shocked to see it up here. Uh, but uh, when you uh, looked at uh, options, there was kind of a medium resistance at 395 on the spies. We've broke that 396.30. Is that what it is now? What is it? 396.35. And the next, uh, and that's kind of uh, minimal, I'm going to call it medium resistance. Uh, but there's the Great Wall of China that is set up at about 400. So maybe we can get up there in the next day or two. Um, looking at the uh, TD9s and the way that some of the other charts look, we could get a retest as soon as Friday on some of these lows. So is this a one-day wonder pop? Well, there's not a lot of volume. Uh, there's a lot of stocks in the TD9s that are on the 6s, 7s, and 8s. Uh, if they make it to the 9s, could they bring the rest of the market down? Uh, there is part of that. Uh, the other thing you got to look at, of course, is crude oil uh, being lower. Uh, kind of really amazing, and it's on uh, continuing demand drops, uh, mostly here in the United States. That's uh, amazingly uh, different, and that is that we're just not driving anymore. It got expensive, and everybody quit, and they changed their patterns, and that's kind of it. It's uh, crewed down about 5% on the day, so let's take a look at the XLE. And you gap down uh, on the first, you had 28.3 million shares. Today you got about uh, 21, 22 million shares already. You did pierce that low. You're kind of back into the wick of the thing, but it doesn't look good. So maybe we'll find out more. Of course, generally these shortened weeks, you get delayed reports. I didn't see it today, but I'm assuming it was... Uh, uh, We'll get the uh, AEI tonight and the uh, and the uh, EIA uh, in the morning or right, tomorrow morning at 10:30 or 11. Sometimes they move it to 11. So we'll see. And of course, natural gas probably a little bit different when they're closed on Monday. But I did not check on that. If anybody in the den sees anything different, uh, that'd be it. So anyway, is this a one-day wonder? Did they schedule all of this just to make Apple look good so they could continue distributing it? Um, inquiring minds want to know. I don't see a lot going on here. Question uh, on the XLE, like I said, uh, it, the, the uh, bottom on the uh, TLT was not anything to write home about. Maybe you do get a one- or two-day bounce, but I do suspect we're going to come back and retest that. Microsoft uh, is up four today. Um, now, this is just on a fact that most of these have come back down to support. Um, the last big gap higher on, was on July the 27th on Microsoft. You were up on 46 million shares. Uh, you've come back in that with fairly light volume, actually. Uh, for the last four days, 23, 22, 21 million shares. Today, you got about 11 on the upside, uh, but you haven't broken any trend lines up. Um, energy, again, just, uh, just a skosh. I haven't heard skosh since uh, the, uh, they quit uh, putting those uh, chewing tobacco ads on TV. There used to be a little skosh between your cheek and gum. But I guess that's illegal now. It's illegal or I've never seen one in the last 15 or 20 years. Uh, but anyway, just a skosh lighter volume on the move back down. Uh, so it's, is it 
fantastic no is the volume lighter it certainly is so could you get a bounce here the downside is i like to see both uh, if i'm looking for a major move both the volume at the lows and the energy really tail off and the energy on the downside didn't uh, all you have now is a tail off in the volume uh, from the last gap higher on Microsoft. Uh, no scoshing allowed, huh? Yeah. There's ointments and lotions for that now, I hear. Okay. Uh, what else do we have? Look in our email here. Okay. Okay. Oh, we'll be back in a minute. Got uh, two or three emails here I'm reading. We'll get back to those. 877-927-6648. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. As we return. Yeah, it's a nice bounce in the TLT. Just look at that volume, though, and that's what gets me going out here yesterday you had 24.6 billion shares or million shares excuse me and today you've got about 10 million on the bounce so far so yeah i'm not a big fan of that yet now we had uh, a lot of people waiting for the beige book we've got apple doing its little shindig so is there something else going on we're in september we should have volume and we should have volume in the next couple of days. Uh, it should really pick back up. Now, is today really just the last hurrah for 
Fun buying? Well, we shall see. I do not like a bounce on light volume up to major resistance. Uh, but we've got uh, at least another two and a half or three, yeah, 2.7 points on the spies to get up to that level. Um, so we shall see. Uh, to, to other questions about, uh, oh, it was on MU from John's. Uh, Jim Johnson, okay. Uh, to, to let's see, okay, right here. Um, you're working your way back down and retesting this huge candle reversal day of July 5th. That got down to 5209. Got down to 5401 today, and now you're coming out. That day had 30, almost 34 million shares. You got into it uh, today with about 10 so far. So it's not too good. Or, I mean, not too bad, at least on the light volume. You've got uh, about the same energy up on the way down, and that's generally not a good sign. So uh, if both of those are not congruent, i.e., the energy on the last leg down was lighter volume and the low is uh, lowing, generally I look for a bounce and then yet uh, a pullback on lighter volume back into the previous low with lighter volume than the last time. So could this be nothing but a bounce and a downtrend? It could be. Um, I'm not particularly excited about um, trying to go short or being short the SMHs with light volume. But at the same time, like I said, a lot of times you get a couple of days back up uh, and then the next move back below the trend line signals the uh, that it's ready and built enough steam to go break some lows but uh, not a real good uh, risk reward uh, for being short here and uh, you're gonna have to wait for a bounce and think and and determine that a bounce is on lighter volume over the next few days before you go short I don't know if there's a lot out here to hang your hat on uh, to, to, to do okay we looked at Microsoft Looked at Apple. What else do we have out here? Let's take a quick look at the SMHs for Mike. Welcome to the fold. And uh, he says that uh, he's coming back to the path of least resistance. Thank you, path of least resistance. SMHs, that's from Archer, whoever else loves that show. Uh, SMH is uh, just going sideways here today. Again, fairly light volume. You did have 6.9 million shares on the 31st. Now we get into that uh, today with about 2.6, but you're not really breaking above it. Uh, you've got a couple of gaps down, and that will be on that 6.9 million shares. So could you get to 6.12? You could. Now, one of the other things going on today, of course, is the day that option market makers go delta neutral. I'll know a lot more at about 3.30 or 3.45 today than I know right now, but there hasn't been a lot. Uh, they're really kind of pegging that around the uh, 4,000 level is where extremely major resistance is. Uh, and again, on a lighter volume, you always have to look at rallies uh, on that, especially in September on lighter volume, as problematic. Do, do, do. Okay, T-A. Okay. Okada. Gap down. I think uh, you asked me about this one a while ago or someone else did. Um, you gap down with a lot of volume. You're kind of going sideways out here. Uh, I mean, without a lot more work, the best you probably hope for is a move back up uh, and fill halfway of the gap, that would be, what, about 81 bucks, 80 bucks. Um, so if you're in this, I don't know what the question is. Uh, see, is software being hampered by interest rates or spot decline? Uh, generally, when mark, uh, interest rates start going up and stock prices start going, uh, start going down, uh, software is one of the easiest things to turn off as a uh, as a CEO or a CFO uh, and to say, you know, we're not updating anything right now. 
Uh, we're not going to spend that money. We're not going to do anything. And that's generally if you can do without it kind of software, uh, especially if you're downstream from the Fortune 500 companies. And I think this company is. Hang on a second. Let me take a look here. Uh, Uh, Access Gateway enables the organization to extend the okay, identity cloud from the cloud to the existing on-premises. Okay, yeah, I, I, it's hard for me to believe that much of anybody is going to be able to long-term fend off Amazon Web Services, Microsoft's Azure, uh, Google Web Services. Is just very tough. Well, we can look at other companies in this vein that have tried. Uh, and uh, probably, e uh, you know, even a much more established and much higher capitalized company like Salesforce has had real problems uh, competing with those folks. Uh, it has reached and gone through previous lows with about the same volume, too, uh, on heavier volume. So, as they say, stocks uh, and markets don't tend to crash at uh, highs. Uh, they tend to get down to previous lows and then blow themselves apart. Um, it's not horribly bearish, but man, I think that there are probably much faster horses uh, in this area than the also rands besides the big three. I think that's probably the biggest problem you have now. Um, take a quick look at spot. Uh, which is Spotify. Uh, I think a lot of people are getting nervous about Twitter and just how much is going to come out about how just phony uh, a lot of these numbers are for people listening and watching and everything else. Uh, this is a business that seems much uh, along the lines of XM Satellite. That was that everybody was going to listen to music by satellite, and then they didn't quite do much, and they couldn't make money. So they started going with podcasts, and they got, uh, what's that, Shock Jock from New York uh, on her, uh, Stern. And they've been able to kind of, like, eke their way through. Spotify, of course, went to Joe Rogan, still a big draw on the, uh, on the channel. But... Uh, all these guys are built on the basis that you can make money streaming music, and no one's really succeeded. So we'll be back in a minute. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold. Traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. question about Tesla it is breaking above uh, the downtrend line. You don't have a lot of volume so far. You had uh, about, uh, what, 56 million shares yesterday. Uh, today, you got about 37 on the way up. Does tend to have more volume at the end of the day, so you may want to watch that. Uh, I, probably not the best advertising to have both Hawaii and California tell you you can't uh, recharge your cars. So... I don't know how that goes if it gets uh, passed uh, and to the uh, low information uh, folk out there. They don't spend a lot of time looking at news. But uh, certainly uh, an interesting idea that the biggest states that are proponents of electric cars are the first to make sure that you can't charge them or telling you can't anyway. But uh, is uh, interesting. You got a bounce up here just on a lighter volume. Um, one of the things that I hadn't brought up yet is the way splits affect the, the trading of uh, stocks, especially these high flyers. Uh, there's a personality that comes into stocks, and a lot of times it is because of the prices. I've seen a lot of stock splits come and change the personality of the stock. And it takes a little while, maybe six months, to really get that personality change over. And uh, maybe it's kind of like, uh, you know, a 16-year-old uh, finally graduating high school and uh, maybe having to take some responsibility. Or maybe it's an 18-year-old that picks up a gallon of uh, J -A -J -A James Dean, James Dean, uh, of uh, bourbon and uh, decides that he has to go real far in the car or real fast in the car but a personality changed nonetheless uh, and i would be very careful trading this until you figure out what that change in that is you can recharge after 9 p.m only okay uh well doesn't do you any good if you want to charge uh, recharge before but it seems to me if you've got penetration of 3% right now and you want to go to 100%, if you can't handle it now, I'd worry about it. If you're having problems already charging just 3% or 4% of the cars, you probably need to do some real soul searching. But uh, that's just me. Uh, okay some more emails out here. Okay. Question about IBM. <laughs> uh, from the land of NIMBY, he says they'll build more capacity. But uh, all I've ever seen 
It is not in my backyard. Okay, IBM. Doesn't look too bad, Jim. Uh, you're going back into the 125 low. Yeah, like I said, though, all these have about the same energy up on the way down. You are finding some fairly light volume here on the July 21st low. 12 million shares into 3.3, 3.4 million shares. That was, uh, yeah, 3.3 yesterday. Today, you only have about 1.3 million shares. I'm kind of a move up. Uh, but that's it. Okay. Okay. We have a and another question to take a look at DLR. Yeah, you had more volume on the break. Now, this is one that Jim Chanos is big short on it. I think he went short back there about 130-ish, or at least that's where he said he was he, uh, he made it known that he was shorting it. He may have shorted those big moves. Um, actually, the chart doesn't look that bad. This is one of the few that had a light volume pullback, but about the same volume at the lows. So you're not getting a lot of uh, congruency here from both the high to the low. Uh, okay. You're up on just no volume today, which is the problem. One point, uh, yeah, 1.3 yesterday, 521,000 shares on the upside today. Uh, again, I kind of like it when the charts are all speaking the same way instead of being very different in those. Uh, question to go through my usual suspects. Uh, AMD's uh, just sideways on light volume. I don't think you can make anything about that nvidia has broken lows has done it on major volume uh four days ago four trading days ago uh broke the low of 65 million shares with 117 you're just kind of going sh uh, sideways here so what you need to do if you're bullish on this is see it go to about 145 uh, pull back and try to retest this low on a lighter volume again. Until then, uh, you've got a low broken on volume. The energy from the high to the low was on more volume. Um, these guys, both AMD and NVIDIA, have a lot of great products coming out. They tend to be good companies. We don't need to confuse good companies with stock price because those have a lot to do more than just the company. They have to do with uh, the idea that maybe China invades uh, Taiwan. Maybe people are starting to get a lot more worried about that with Putin and uh, Xi uh, getting all uh, chummy over the last few days. But uh, I don't know. Maybe there's something else. I haven't seen anything else that said the threat level up was higher in Taiwan. Question is... Uh, Planeteer, based out here, PLTR. Um, it just every all this stuff looks rather weak. Um, energy same on the way up as on the way down. Uh, volume through the uh, June 13th low was at 41 million shares at seven and a half dollars. Uh, you broke through that with about the same volume. So uh, there's a lot of stocks out there that don't have. Uh, a clear signal either higher or lower. Some did, like NVIDIA, did break the lows and did have more volume. Uh, Nancy wants to look at UNG. Two twos, we'll look at this. Um, now, on this one, you did break for UNG, break the previous high of 32.77. That was the June 8th high that had 14.5 million shares with 12 million shares. So it was lighter. I would have liked a little bit more like 10 to think about going short. Uh, but you had 12.1 million shares on the 34.50. You went above the previous high. You did so on lighter volume. You pulled back. Uh, energy is actually fairly good. Uh, the last couple of days, uh, well, yesterday you had almost 8 million shares. Today, about half that, though. So, you, you know, if you look over to the left-hand side of the chart, 
uh, right around that $26 level, you've got lots of potential support. We'll be back in a minute. Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. To wrap up another excellent episode of the Path of Least Resistance. As we uh, get to the close, we're up 70 on the S&P Cash. Dow's up 449. NASDAQ's up 242. Russell's up 29. Crude oil's off 5. Uh, gold's up 13, but not really doing much of anything. Just wiggling around a bit like a fish on a dock. Uh, but that's kind of it. We go to the volume, as we said, uh, volume's fairly light. 6.8 billion shares on the CBOE consolidated tape, uh, which is pretty, pretty wimpy. So be wary. Uh, again, uh, some of the other stuff going on out here. Uh, the TLT's got a big bounce. Again, no volume. Uh, really respectively off the lows today. Uh, yesterday you did uh, 24 and a half 
million today. You're doing about ten and a half million shares. So I don't know how you can really hang your hat on anything other than a bounce at the moment. Now maybe that changes, uh, but that's kind of it. Uh, a lot of the stuff this looks like it got down to the previous lows, got there with a uh, fairly decent energy, then has bounced on having very light levels. But uh, September tends to be a wicked month, and generally the big men of the street tend to blow out uh, the uh, weaker horses and start buying the stronger horses late in the month. So you always have to worry about it. Uh, most of the uh, worst months of all time have been in September, and that's always problematic. Um, again, kind of hard to actually uh, put too much into today. Uh, we had the uh, Beige Book, which really didn't do much. And uh, we've got uh, Delta Neutral for options expiration on the 16th. So tomorrow, I suspect, will be a lot more indicative of what we have in the next few weeks so when you can not when you have to we'll see you here tomorrow building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible